Greensboro Mayor Nancy Vaughn is here. She is answering your questions right now. All right, this person's asking, is there anything being done to fix the cracks and uneven sidewalks on Elm Street? So I'm assuming that the, um, the questioner is talking about Elm Street um, in downtown. And there is a long-term streetscaping project that will be rolled out. Um, I'm not exactly sure what they're gonna do with the sidewalks at that point. That is very expensive, but we are looking at a new streetscape program for downtown Greensboro. And that was approved, um, that was a bond issuance. Okay, this person says, as we're approaching colder weather, why aren't overgrown trees and bushes cut back by now? So um, the city does not cut back um, branches and bushes. Um, if you live in a house where you think that your um, electric line is in jeopardy, you can call Duke Energy and they'll come out and see if it um, needs to be trimmed back. Now one caution with that is that Duke Energy will cut it back the way they want to cut it back, mm -hmm. which may not be the way you want it cut back. Mm -hmm. So there's certainly nothing that stops a homeowner from taking down limbs or um, trimming up bushes. Mm -hmm. Uh, with all the businesses coming into our area, where's the residential growth, the housing for the transplants? Well, we're also looking for housing for our residents. Um, you know, we want our residents to be the ones who fill, that jo fill those jobs, or I won't feel that we've been successful. Um, there, there are a very large number of housing permits right now. I think we are at a historic high at the city of Greensboro. A lot of it is in East Greensboro. A lot of it is infill development. If you watch a city council meeting um, and watch a zoning um, agenda item, chances are it's for infill development. And that's always the hardest for neighborhoods to deal with because it will be something different than they have now or that open space. We are looking at higher density. Higher density makes it a little bit more affordable. And we really have to do focus on affordability at this point and attainability. You know, we talk about affordability for people who are the working poor, that they ha make below the area median income. For those types of units, we partner with developers and then we subsidize them to build those low income units. But we also are short of units at every single price point, and that, that will happen by the private developers, and that is where we will extend water and sewer. Mm -hmm. You'll extend that to make it easier for them to do that? Well, we will make it available for them, mm -hmm. yes, okay. to tap into. Um, somebody wants to know, what are your plans for Glenwood to counter those rent increases? And they're, again, talking about affordable housing. Yes, affordable housing and why that neighborhood hub is so important. Um, the city of Greensboro, uh, actually no city in North Carolina is allowed to do any sort of rent control. We hear about that in other states and other cities, but our legislature will not let us do rent control. But we can try to work with developers for those low income properties, and we can also try to get um, the permits processed so more housing is built, and that might stabilize the rent. Okay, this next question is, has there been any updates on a possible soccer stadium downtown or more developments downtown? Um, there has not been, and there are no updates on a possible soccer stadium downtown. Um, soccer really has caught a lot of people's attention with the World Cup, and, and we know that Bryant Park is a great soccer mecca. People come from all over to play soccer on the weekends here. It is a huge economic driver. It will probably be under discussion, but it hasn't reached a council level at this point. All right, we've got about one minute left, so I'm just going to ask you, what do you think people should be looking for from the city of Greensboro in the next couple of months? Oh, that's a that's a tough question because it's so broad. Um, I, I know that you will see a focus on public safety. We always have been focused on public safety. Um, there will be a lot of outreach. We've talked about how we can do the budget a little different this year than we've done it in the past. And we want to involve people on the front end of the budget. So we know what your priorities are. And often we, the city manager produces a budget, gives it to us, um, and then we kind of um, chop it up. Mm -hmm. We want you to come in on the front end. Okay, well, we look forward to that. Thanks. All right, thank, thank you, you so much for answering all of those questions. If you missed any of this, you can head over to WFMYNews2.com. We'll be posting the interviews. Now, when we come back, we're talking voting and we're talking elections. The Guilford County Elections Director is joining us and you can send your questions in about voting and elections 
All you have to do is text that question to 336-379-5775. We'll be right back.